Good morning, it's uh, Wednesday, August 19th, and this morning I'm taking my devotion from Andre Nguyen's You Are the Beloved. Today is called The True Voice of Love. Fear is the great enemy of intimacy. Fear makes us run away from each other or cling to each other, but, not, but does not create true intimacy. When Jesus was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane, the disciples were overcome by fear, and they all deserted him and ran away. Matthew 26, 56. Fear makes us move away from each other to safe distance or move toward each other to a safe closeness. But fear does not create the space where true intimacy can exist. To those who are tortured by inner or outer fear and who desperately look for the house of love where they can find the intimacy their hearts desire, Jesus says, you have a home. I am your home. Claim me as your home. You will find it to be to be the intimate place where I have found my home. It is right where you are, in your innermost being, in your heart. The more attentive we are to such words, the more we realize that we do not have to go far to find what we are searching for. The tragedy is that we are so possessed by fear that we do not trust our innermost self as an intimate place but anxiously wander around, hoping to find where we are not. We try to find that intimate place in knowledge, competence, notoriety, success, uh, friends, sensations, pleasure, dreams, or artificially induced states of consciousness. Thus we become strangers to ourselves. People have an address, but are never home, and hence cannot be addressed by the true voice of love. When I first read this, I thought of masks. Funny, right? Masks wear masks to, to protect and love each other. But it is interesting that when we are masked, we often don't talk as much to each other, especially strangers. We look at each other kind of like a, an enemy, you know, a potentially um, COVID carrier. Um, we can't see each other smile through our masks. We can't read lips through our masks. So we, it's like putting a gag on. <laughs> we can't talk. Um, I find it interesting. Uh, I've realized I do that myself and tried to try to um, to talk uh, even though not loudly I don't want to push too many things out but um, um, but it's interesting the intimacy is is kind of curbed even with strangers I mean if there can be kind of intimacy but at least uh, friendly greetings are, are different head nod is very different now it's like our speech is inhibited by a mask. But you're, uh, he's right. Fear can, can block a lot of things, uh, whether it's inside or outside. And, and you can bet that we all try to find it other places. We all try to find it and mask it and, and do those kinds of things. Um, but Jesus was saying, I am, I am your home. Uh, in me is your home. And to cling to that, to have confidence and trust in that is a great gift that he's given to us to, um, to help us in any way that God can and, and realize that our lives are connected intimately with God's. Let's pray. Uh, gracious God, help us to come to you as, as our home, to realize our fears, but still come to you and realize that we run away too often and help us to find our way toward you. Help us to love our neighbor and help us to connect to each other and to you more closely. In your name we pray. Amen. I think I voiced this the other day when I accidentally pushed personal web page, Facebook page, but um, 9.45 on Sunday mornings after the service. Uh, we have an open forum. Uh, we just bring lunch, have the lunch chairs out in the, in the shade, and we talk for about half an hour till about 10.15. So you're all invited for that. And it's open. Um, so talk about what you want to talk about. Um, and also the uh, food barrels are now empty, so they can be filled again. So it's it's good to see that we've, we've uh, been going, continuing with that ministry. So anyway... Uh, until until I see you again peace